I'm very grateful to see my brother here. I have a home in Montego Bay in Jamaica where I grow weed. And uh, I've also done a lot during the last election when I ran for president. It's this music that was inspiring the youth. So if you saw millions of youths cutting their hands up, it was his music. And also the music of Luciano. Luciano is my friend. I just came back from the US where he had invited me for a concert in Dallas. On top of that also, my connection with Jamaica started when I was practicing as a solicitor in London. I've worked with Jamaicans, Jamaic British Jamaicans, who actually, whose parents came through the Windrush yeah. in the UK in 1962, mm -hmm. who educated me into immigration practice. I'm a household name now in the reggae world because I'm the first person to actually form a political party based on the weed culture. But I say this because of Jamaicans' resilience. When Hel Salasi said that Jamaicans should go and get land for free in Ethiopia, words that were echoed by Muzay Jomo Kenyatta before land grabbers came in, he meant it. When I become president of this country, definitely one day, in the name of Jaya, weed will be legalized. Thank you. Yes. I don't want to take much of your time. But make sure, you journalists, that I'm fighting for your rights. You are paid peanuts by the system. I would like you guys to be paid well. I would like you guys to stand well, so don't discriminate me ever. I own a media house in New York. That should be the last. Thank you very much.